Okay guys, right, I'm back. Um, this, this part I'll just be discussing about uh, the filling up. Filling up, because basically I've glued, I've glued the sides together, which, it isn't difficult, but it's not, it ain't the best. I think it all depends on how, how they cut out as well, which helps. But, I mean, I've managed to get this one together quite well. There's not a lot of fill. I've got to fill a little bit of a gap here at the bottom. Um, and there's a big gap at the top there, but that just needs filling. Um, that's no biggie. Um, there's in between by the windows. But I've got to build the wind before. I've, I've got to build the window frames and the door frames up before I fill them because I want to make sure I want to see if it fills the gap if you get what I mean so but basically I mean I filled the other side up because I thought I'm having a practice I kind of use one side as a practice and one side as a, to show you guys um, basically all I used was a bit of white putty um, with the finger, just run it down the edge. <laughs> Sorry about that, children and all that. I can hear the elephants come up the stairs. Anyway, where was I? Yeah, right. Basically, all I did was put a bit of putty on on the on the tile here. Get a finger and just rub it down with your finger, just filling in the the crease line there. Um, I might. Go over it. Where is it? There it is. I've got a little. Uh, pin file. I think they're called. Needle file. Sorry. That's it. Needle file. I've got a triangular one. What I may do. Is just. Do that occasionally. Just to. Get the brick. But I think. Once it's painted. Or primed. Unless there's any major parts, I don't think you'll really see that. That will quite blend in quite well. Um, this was a, there was a big gap down here, which I've managed to fill, and that one there, which I've managed to fill and smooth down. But again, it's a derelict building. I think by the time I've primed it and everything else, I think it might be okay. But like I said, I've never built one of these before, so this is a learning curve for me. We'll just see how it turns out. Um, so yeah, that's it for this part. Hopefully, when next time I'm back, next time you see me, which for you like will be a couple of seconds, well, with less than a second, it'll just blend into the next video, the next part. Um, we'll see. How I'm going to get all the. So what I'm, that's it. Right, I know what I'm doing next. We're gonna fill that bit, fill them, fill, fill that bit up, and that bit in the bottom. Build the window frames up, the door frames. Try them, see where it is. Fill those gaps in, and then I'll come back. All right, guys. Thanks. See you in a minute. See you in a minute. Well, you know, okay. So. Right. I've built the windows and the doors. Yeah. So all the windows and doors are now built. Um, I've never built anything with so much flash. In all my life, but it is what it is. Just get there scraping it out, and it's not a problem. Okay, I've also built the balcony up. Had to fill the lines there a bit. Um, but yeah, it is what it. Again, it is what it is. It's built. It's done. Now I filled in this bit. It's not brilliant, but like I said, it's the top, so I should paint it black, and you know. Um, I put these struts in. Now, when I put these struts in, I the, the ones I don't know, can you see them? I don't know if you can see. That's a pen. When I put those struts in there, <coughs> um, I filed down the end of the strut so it fit in the hole. It wasn't the best, but then I also then discovered that if I take the knife, now if you can see and cut down there and round pop that out which usually drops inside 
and push that in, push the strut in, it holds it better. So that's how I do that. So I'm going to be doing them. So like I said, it's a whole learning thing. Okay, so I did that. Um, the next bit is to see how the doors and windows fit. Now, I said to you in the last video that these seams are probably going to fill them in. Yeah, there's some seams there, you see them, and all the doors and windows. But I've since discovered that by trying it, if you place the door in, and it's not going to work now, you watch. If you place the door in and push it up. The seam itself actually works as a good stop for, for the frame. Same with the windows as well. So I'm glad I didn't file them all down. So what I'll do next is I'm going to glue all those in, in place and then come back and we'll see what the next where we are with the next part. So when I come back, I'll have all the doors and windows glued in. Right, okay. It's okay guys, right. I've glued all the doors and windows in, and I've also glued the balcony on. Let's move that around a bit so you can see. Um, yeah, using that seam, like I said, worked a treat because it just meant you could only push it in so far. Right, so that's the windows and doors put in on both the sides. Okay, so the floors put in, the doors are put in. So the next part is I'll move that one out of the way is to add it to the base plate. Okay, there's the base plate. I'm not sure yet whether to cut the edges off this yet. I'm going to see how it looks when it's done. But I have noticed one thing because obviously I've been trying it is. Now as you can see on this base plate here, you've got that bit there, up, round, to that bit there. So in theory, that should just slot into there, be glued into place. You'd think, wouldn't you? Now, I've discovered that it doesn't fit. Um, you've got a little bit, let's see if I can hold it up and we can see. Right, there's the base, so we want this end here. When you push it into the corner, you sat up, technically, it's about 4mm. So I've got to cut about 4mm off that corner for it to slot into place and also the same there as well. Um, and if you can see it better there, if you don't cut it off you get a massive lip. So that bit there, for it to sit flush I've got to cut that section out. So when I come back, that is what I'll have done next. Right. Okay. In a sec. Right. The corners are cut off. I don't know if you can see that very well. It looks a bit dark to me. But the corners have been cut off there and there. And I've placed it in, in position. And everything looks quite cool. So the next thing for me to do now is to actually glue it in place. Like I said, I'm using, for gluing this, I'm using this, which is normal uh, Revell poly cement. I'll just put it into a little glass bottle, just for easier, easiness of use, I suppose. I've just noticed something. There's a bit of. Um, let's just remove this. There's a little plastic spot thing on here. Let's just remove them. Okay, I'm going to 
sec. Let's just do uh... Okay. Right. So now what I'll do now. Blue one here, just move that out of the way for a sec. I find using the extra thin on this it tends to uh, evaporate a bit too quick whereas this stuff it works pretty good with these things because you can actually put it on quite well for a bit just till it uh, it bonds I was thinking brute force and ignorance is a wonderful thing but again you don't want to sit here and watch watching paint dry oh sorry glue dry so I'm back in a bit right then as I said in the last little bit I've glued these on these are all now glued, so this is how it's going to look when it's together. The only thing I'm not happy about is that line, but it's one of them. So that is how it's going to look, which did not too bad to be fair. Tried it with the um, Churchill. Yeah, it looks alright. So it's going to be painted now. And have the figure, gonna finish the figures, finish painting that, build my universal carrier, and get this painted and finish painting my figures. So yeah, so then we're all done. Doing that but you can't see nothing. All the uh, rubble inside has been placed in and glued in position. Same on the other side. Has been glued in position. So that's the assembly part of that done. Oh, one other thing. I did build the lamppost. Whether I use it or not is a different matter. I don't know. But I've built the lamppost. Got a massive seam. It's got to be rubbed down and filled and, and rubbed again. But anyway, the lamppost is built. But like I said, whether it's used or not is a different matter. I don't know. So that's been built. So that's the end of this part two. Next time I'll uh, come back, I'll, uh, we'll have a look at painting it. So anyway, that's it from me guys. Till the next one, catch you later, bye.